Hello, and welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So, last episode, we gained a favor from Tenos. Favor gives a buff to item rarity, quantity, and reduces the chance of traps, of chests being trapped. Now, I did want to run a vault yesterday, but I didn't want to do it without, well, recording it because of the buff, and I've never seen a favor buff before. So, let's just dive right in. Got everything I need. Let's go in this new vault. All right. We have, oh, it's kind of hard to see. Thanos, uh, set choice. Uh, all right. The, uh, it's the chance of trap chests are down. That's the buff we get. Oh, okay. The very first room is a challenge room. You're kidding me. The very first room is a challenge room, and the second room is a challenge room. And I forgot to put my helmet on. Well, I haven't done one of these yet, so. This was not worth it. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, this fault is terrible.
Of course, all the TNT exploded, but the uh, spawner was fine. For uh, getting a buff to trap chests, I still got about the same amount of trap chests as usual. The same ratio. So uh, that buff was useless. And yeah, that was not a fun vault. I, uh, I did not enjoy that run. But we did get quite a few mystery boxes. Some relic booster packs. And four more Beniatite ore to Fortune. Some Painite and some Wutadai and some Larmar. We did get another key piece. That's very nice. Um, don't know if the treasure rooms have been fixed. I've been hearing on the Discord that they are very hit and miss. So, you know, but at, at this point, I can't even make a treasure key, so it doesn't matter. By the time they get the treasure rooms fixed, by the time I can make a treasure key, it should be fine. A um, little bit of skill essence. I mean, knowledge essence, not much. Yeah, um, not exactly a amazing run, but let's fortune. I forget which one's my fortune pick. Let's fortune the Beniatite. 11. That gets us very close. And the relics. Ooh. Two new relics. We got the dragon's foot and the earth element. Have not gotten those yet. And our mystery boxes. Laramar. Iron. Laramar. Again, let's take the shield off. It blocks my vision. Iron. Gold. Diamonds, Diamonds, Laramar, Laramar, Forgenite, Laramar, Gold. I know the pattern here. Lots of Laramar. But Laramar is useful, so I'm not going to complain. And uh, here. I think there are four parts per... Um, four fragments to each relic. So let's just do that. Let's see. Let's go into craft up a crystal, but we need spore blossoms. So I'm going to have to go caving to the moss caverns below me and gather up a bunch of spore blossoms. I don't know if I can bone meal them. So I'll probably bring some bone meal with me just in case. Before I run off looking for the spore blossoms, let's show you our notice board. I have updated it since the last time I recorded it. Still have all of our upgrades we needed. But now I have listed 8 black opal and 47 more banyatite, which can now be changed to 36. Or is it 30 or is it 37? How many did I get? Let's do that for now. And so I need to make three more knowledge stars and one soul diffuser, which is why I need the black opal. I need 16 black opal so I can make four black chromatic steel. And then I can make the soul diffuser and finally start diffusing the now two chests or just about worth of scavenger items. That I can't use. Those scavenger items will allow me to actually maybe buy some stuff off the black market. This repair core is nice because I'm having trouble. Well, I'm having trouble finding all ore, but painite this requires how much? Sixteen painite. 
I did get 59 soul shards in that last vault, so that's pretty good. But that only brings us up to uh, just over 300 total. 306. So, we're going to go caving and be back in a bit. Oh, there. Look, you can actually see how much the um, trap che trapped chest chance was re reduced and was by 1%, which is why I didn't notice the difference. Oh, just called myself an axolotl. And let's try this. No. Cannot bow meal the spore blossoms. So, I have to actually find them the hard way. Oh, I'm gonna keep looking. And we're back from hunting for the spore blossoms. They weren't that difficult to gather, although it was kind of annoying looking for them. And apparently the only way it looks like you can farm them is the botany pots. Botany pots? Yeah, botany pots. There we go. So we have the spore blossoms and everything else we need for this next vault. And I got myself a little friend. I'm going to set him up a, uh, a little place. And I, uh, oh, almost forgot. I crafted up a new pouch. This one is specifically for scav items. Uh, it's got room for more, especially if I've missed any, which is always possible. And if we have extra room after we find all the scav items, I might add the scaffolding, torches, that sort of thing. The junk items you get in some of the chests. So let's not forget to put our helmet on again like we did last time. And let's dive right in. And I always forget to turn off that. Okay. Um, frost. Frost caves. Frozen caves. This has powdered snow that I'm going to have to be careful and aware of. And apparently I already have a spawner. It's also a boss fight. Uh, vault, boss fight objective. And uh, if you are not on the Vault Hunters Discord, Oh, there we go. I got trapped in the powdered snow. Wow, it's a good thing the vaults are bugged right now and have Beginner's Grace still on them. That was pathetic. Twen One minute. In 12 seconds. Okay, well, we'll be back when I craft up another crystal. Ah, this is a much cheaper um, crystal. Just remember to take off the magnet. Okay, let's try this again. Can't go worse than last time, all right? Okay, four obelisks. Sorry, four monoliths. I'm going to do that every single time. And 
we've got a vault that will have husks. Which is, of course, what my current uh, bounty is. So, uh, I kind of want to uh, try to complete the obelisks, monoliths. But also, I also want to uh, farm those husks. And we need 79. Ooh, okay. This is a very good challenge room. I don't know where to start. They all have... Well, okay, so those are all crystals in there. Each of those crystals has a spawner. I think they are all the fizzle type spawners, the ones that will disappear on their own. And they are filled with vault ore. Oh, that was clutch. <sighs> My shield just saved me so much damage. Okay, so as I was saying before, I got completely distracted. If you are not part of the Vault Hunters Discord, they just, they just updated their planned patch notes for Update 6, which includes a rework to how um, how obelisk vaults are going to work. Currently, you know, you activate all the obelisks and you spawn a boss. And then you fight said boss. With the proposed rework, you will no longer fight a boss. You will instead fight what they call guardians. I don't know how strong a guardian is going to be. Somewhere between a boss and an elite 
I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else in here. And um, you have to fight a different guardian for each obelisk. And once you've defeated all the guardians, you beat the vault. So that's definitely an interesting change. And it might make it so that I'm actually willing to uh, give it a try. Because right now, I am I know I'm not good enough to take on a uh, boss. I don't have the gear. I don't have the skills. And I don't have the gaming skills. But with this change... It's uh, essentially fighting four mini bosses as opposed to one mega boss. Yeah, that's completely doable. And that sounds like it might be valuable. Yep. I wonder how the vault, um, how these ores are going to. Yeah, they don't play well because of the other ones. Because I have stone based. Um, vault ores from the challenge room and now I have vault rock based they uh, don't stack Three thousand experience. Only thirty two chests. Hundred and two mobs. That is a lot. Three Painite, five Alexandrite, nine Beniatite, nine Lamar, one Tubium. Did I have tub? Yes, I had tubium. The only one I don't have yet is Echo and Iscalium. And uh, let's see. 28 husks and 25 vault fighters. All right, not bad. And the junk arms have been removed. As I said, we now have nine more Beniatite to get through. Some Alexandrite, Painite, Wootadite, more Wootadite. Tubium, and some more Lamar. Decent amount of bronze. Two relics and one mystery, so not great there, but better than nothing. And, well, the ores are the uh, main prize from this run. Let's open these. Nothing. Mystery boxes, diamonds. And 
let's fortune all the bang tight. Is that one short? One short of getting two more. So our third notch point. Let's let's get the double pouches. And now the recipe for double pouches is this one, which is not that expensive. Uh, extraordinary Laramar, a little bit of magic silk. Yeah, we can do this right now. So. I don't think it's going to save over all of my stuff. So I'm going to redo this pouch. I mean, I can import, you know, the setting. But since I'm combining two pouches, I can't really import two different pouches worth of settings. Anything else worth noting? Nope, we'll be back in a minute. Well, since I doubt the combining them will save the upgrades, I pulled those out. And can these not be dyed? Is there a way to undye them? So just because they're dyed, I have to put them in manually. Okay, because they're dyed, you can't um, shift click them in. There we go. Double pouch. Okay, it saved the blue pouch, but not the red pouch. I'll put the pickup and those tier one stacks in there for now. Um, fortunately, it means I made a uh, stack upgrade for, well, not nothing. I will use it but unnecessarily. All right, I have to now go through and save all the other stuff I need in here. And now you can see the pouches are on both legs. I have transferred most of the stuff over and saved it. Of course, wasn't as efficient as I could have been, I used the Relic Booster Pack and the Mystery Box before I saved them into the pouch. And so I'm going to have to wait till I pick up, the, pick up another of each to save them over. But yeah, now we've got this double pouch. Additionally, we got 28 of the 79 husks in that run. Let's go and guess. Nice long for our leggings, especially since these are getting very close to breaking. And there is a repair core here. I would need, I think, another hundred. Uh, let's check quickly. We got 35 just now. I think we had 306. Yeah. So we would need well over 100 shards. So I could, I can do that. I might do that off camera. Got 16 hours. I might run some um, of the easier vaults off camera and try to just get enough shards to buy this repair core since I cannot yet make this old diffuser. Uh, let's see, we got our double pouches. We can remove that from our to-do list. On second thought, why don't we try re-rolling these and seeing if we can't get some good prefix prefixes and suffixes 
before I try to get a repair core to fix up these. Thorns, item rarity, item quantity. Not bad, but I'm really looking for health and armor. Armor and item quantity. Soul bound, knockback. Soul bound and item rarity. There we go. Three health, six armor, thorns chance and quantity. Uh, it's a little bit of a downgrade in the quantity chance from five to four. But uh, get an extra health. So, okay, we're going to switch over to these mailbox leggings. How do they look? Not bad. Let's see how they look with the rest of the outfit. That'll do. So that was an interesting set of vaults we ran today. Two challenge rooms in the first two rooms of the first vault. Getting stuck in snow and dying in the second. And getting a crystal room. My first one was a challenge room, but I think we handled it pretty well. And now we have the double pouches. So I'd, I'd call it a pretty good run for today. Well... Thank you for tuning in. I hope you've had a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.